What's up YouTube? Coming to you live from the field, Hurricane Inn. Got a youngster. This is Ben Richards. How old are you, brother? I'm 22 years old. 22 years old and taking over the world. Got big goals this year. What you gonna do this year? Man, we're gonna do four million this year. We're gonna crush it. Uh, make each 300 grand between me and my stepdad. You know, we're gonna kill it this year. Well, today is build day, baby. We're building roofs everywhere. Five to 10 roofs getting built every single day down here in the Southwest Florida storm. And I wanna teach you how to properly work a neighborhood. Look, the best time to sell is when you build. What's your mastery? Uh, my mastery is dealing with the insurance company. Uh, you know, I typically wait on the insurance checks just because I'm able to get everything supplemented and approved beforehand. And you know, I do a great service for the homeowners. That's what's happening in this neighborhood. He's showing up to the adjuster appointments with Xactimates. They're getting approved. He's getting the supplements approved. That's how he's getting the jobs. And so what I want to show him is that even without getting the supplements approved, you can use a no payment, no interest loan to get deal after deal after deal, even if you don't get the supplement approved. We're going to document that inside of this video and I've got my man Billy over here how old are you buddy 21 look for the 20 somethings this guy's first day in the field actually you had one other day that was actually kind of shadowing other yeah correct yes. and today we're throwing you to the wolves sounds like a plan oh <laughs> he's getting a little scared oh uh, man what's your thoughts man about your first door to door have you gone door to door before I I went one day and uh, I didn't do it the door and door knocking I just stood back and I, I listened and I watched we, we sat down at a table and it went well so I'm excited and anxious tell them a little about yourself my name is Billy I uh, I'm a cage fighter MMA jiu-jitsu I moved down here from New Jersey about a month ago so I've been blessed with this opportunity I'm ready to learn and, and become a good roofer good salesman hey comment below if you think Billy's gonna get some deals we're actually knocking in Ben's neighborhood so Ben's gonna be the one closing them all Billy's gonna be one setting appointments and that's the best way to start anybody. Start them out setting appointments. And I uh, always say that in roofing sales, it's a meritocracy. So if you can't go out and set the appointment, then you don't deserve to sell. So let's see what we can do today. Hey, what's up guys? Me and Billy here, we're actually on my job site right This is Mr. Carlos Costello's house behind us. We actually have been working with him for about a month now and it's actually coming to that day. And if you look behind us, it's build day. Um, you know, we're just going to go over some basic details, you know, showing what we do to keep the job clean on a daily basis for these. You know, we're just going to go ahead, I'm going to show you guys. We usually put tarps all around the perimeter of the uh, house. We also do nailing, but we go pick up the nails with the magnet. We do the whole nine yards on keeping this job site clean. Because at the end of the day, whenever these homeowners are all walking around, seeing your build going on, you want to have the cleanest job on the neighborhood. And you know, right here next door, Mr. Kenneth Hastings, he came by, he saw today that we were building the roof. He went ahead and wrote a check for me to be able to get his roof done as well. But just in this neighborhood alone, we have over 10 houses that we're gonna be doing in here. Just because I came in here and I showed these homeowners what it takes to be able to get these insurance companies to pay the right amount on their claim. These insurance companies have been dragging their feet, but I've been able to come in here, give them the Xactimate, and show them that we can get their process pushed along a lot quicker. All right, so we're actually on top of the roof right now. We just got it dried in. As you can tell, we've got shingles on the roof right here. This is uh, Billy's first day over here. We're gonna show him some good door knocking skills. Billy, go ahead and tell me what you would tell that guy if we go knock his door. Well, I knock on the door and say, hey, I'm from Lee Haight with RCA. Have you had anybody come out on your roof? I'd love to check it out and see if you can get an estimate. Well, also, we're also doing the build, almost 10 builds on this street. That alone is gonna sell that. A lot of times whenever I go knock that door and I'm explaining to them, I'm just letting them know, you know, hey, I'm doing this whole entire street. You can walk outside, let's go here. Let's go walk to the road. Let me show you the build that I'm doing. Okay. Just to show them, because I'm telling you people, they like the looks. They don't like people selling. Okay. They wanna see it getting done. So at the end of the day, whenever he comes out here and sees those 10 jobs that I have signed up on this neighborhood, I know he has. I mean, he has to be able to go with me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's gonna choose some sloshy roofer in here that's not gonna get the job done, that's gonna do a terrible job, but I can show him that we're actually getting work done. Here. Results. Results. Exactly. Yeah. I have a fucking clue what you're looking I, I don't know here. shit. <laughs> it's really pop quiz, buddy. I gave you Sky Diamond University now. Did you, did you take the training manual course? I didn't finish it. Oh, oh, he's busted. Okay, so you don't have a clue about none of this shit. All right, school him up. Let's start fresh. So what you see here is underneath, this is called ice and water shield. This goes around the whole entire roof plus valleys. Um, and what's on top of this ice and water shield is called the valley metal. The valley metal is a penetration point where most water gets in on a roof, but with this protection, these do two layers, the valley metal and the ice and water shield, it gives them more protection for these valleys. If you notice right here, these are called offset ridge bits. 
They actually, if you look, they're actually right here. Okay. So a lot of times they actually have ridge vents, but they cut, we don't have ridge vent on this house. We actually have six offset ridge vents. Um, these are meant for ventilation for the attic. You know, a lot of times in these hot summers here in Florida, it's super hot. So these ventilation actually keep it really cool in the attic. Uh, also right here, we have the gooseneck. Right here, one and two. The gooseneck is a lot of times for some dryer vents, like anything like inside that might be like a, a stove vent, anything like that, the gooseneck's meant for that as well. You got your pipe boots. Uh, the pipe boots, if you notice, there's tar around them. The tar is for extra protection. They're, now, here's the thing about the roof and tar. It goes around the whole entire perimeter of the house, plus valleys, and also for your vents as well. So what synthetic felt is, if you notice across here away, is synthetic felt. They dried in the whole entire roof with synthetic felt. It's a cheap little paper. It, it doesn't adhere to the decking. It's not suitable for roofing over here in Florida. What this is, is ice and water shield. Ice and water shield itself adheres to the decking. And if you notice, there's not a lot of cap nails that go through the ice and water shield. If you notice how many cap nails they put into that decking, that just shows you that how many less cap nails we have to use to put into the decking. It self adheres, if you already feel it, it's already sticking. Yeah, yeah. It self adheres to the decking. It's, it's perfect for shingles to sit on and it's a, a thicker membrane. So if leaks happen to get through the shingles, they still have the second layer of protection. So, I mean, they're getting the full nine yards when it comes to the building code aspect. You know, when that building inspector comes out here and, or homeowners come out here to look at the roof, they're gonna see that we did more to this roof than anybody's done to any of these roofs. So another thing too, Billy, is actually going through this decking. The insurance company and the state, of, uh, the city of Punta Gorda requires us to renail the decking. And so what I also do is I take videos of my crews when they're renailing the decking. If you can see right here, every six inches, there's a nail. That's required by code. And so when the uh, building inspector comes out here and he looks at the decking, if it's not done correctly or if it's not renailed, that could completely stop the process. That just shows you the difference between our RCA project managers and other project managers. So we just go and we do ourselves a favor and we just make sure we get the insurance company pictures of all this renailed decking. So that way we can make sure it gets paid for. Also these decking clips, that's spacings for the decking. I mean, that all plays its part on being a real project manager to show the insurance company exactly what we did for the roof so they pay for it. Because here's the thing, they're not gonna pay for something that's not done. They're only going to pay for something that actually got done. So having pictures of everything and just being really good, you know, when it comes to your job, it just goes this way. You look like you need a roof. I'll come, I'll come give you a quote right now. What's that? I'm selling the same roof that you are selling. Oh, you know me? Oh, okay. Let's get her done. Just try to sell your employer a roof. Oops. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's like the dog that humps everything. Working, man. We are down off the roof and now on to a door to door blitz. What's a door to door blitz, Ben? Well, it's where we all go into the neighborhood and we try to knock all the doors possible around this build because that's whenever these deals are going to be flying everywhere. And we got a new character in town. Who do we got here? I'm Hein Jacobs from I, South Africa. I just tried to sell you a roof, man. I thought you were a homeowner. <laughs> That's good you look at the part. I always say a little gray goes a long way. You gotta use it, man. We're looking for a snowbird. Experience, huh? Well, yes, here's the thing. Trust, transparency builds trust. That's the new brand promise. What I want you to do is put it in your mind right now that the first person that you talk to with gray hair is going down. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> Homeowners don't want me in there, so I'm gonna wait out here and I will film the outcome when uh, they finish up inside and I'll let you know what happens. Um, they got approved for roof replacement. He's got a little section of soffit, a little section of fascia. Um, she's got about 29, 30 squares. The roof is approved about 18,000 right now. So, you know, basically just like detach and reset gutters they left off. Trip edge photos, need that. Probably argue for more soffit and fascia. And then, of course, install peel and stick and get them to pay the rent price. 
So tell them about your supplements and how you've worked with the neighborhood. And yeah. How easy, how quickly has it turned around on a, on a quick supplement like this? It's actually really quicker than most people think. Um, typically, it's been taking about two weeks. Like Miss Rebecca, you know, they have State Farm. Um, and State Farm has been very difficult to deal with. They wrote Miss Rebecca up for 11 squares to be repaired. Well, she hired me, she called me out, I came over there, because I've been I, I've been in this neighborhood for two months straight, you know, uh, so everybody sees my face. And so she called me out, I came out there, I did the damage inspection, I did a brittle test on the roof, I provided all that to the insurance camp company for State Farm, and they approved it for $750 a square for a brand new full replacement. Her permit is on the door now. That was four weeks ago when she signed up with me. And now she, she's already got her check from her insurance company. I got the permit on the door. I mean, she's very happy. She's already wrote a review on our company website. I mean, I, I do a lot for these homeowners in here just because I know how to deal with the insurance. That's the most difficult part. These are all the components of the roof system. And this contract says that we're detaching, reset the gutters or replacing them. But it says we'll complete all work per insurance proceeds. Out of pocket expense will not exceed deductible. Branch, like somewhat gray with a little bit of earth tone brown into it. That right there is called weathered wood. Do you want something more exotic? Oh my god. <laughs> We just gave you a lesson on how to put a job on roller skates, guys, and you never know who's been out there. Of course, these guys came in, they did the repairs. Look, my hearts and prayers out to the salesman for this guy, dude. Hey, I'm sorry I had to swagger jack your deal. Come work for a licensed and insured roofing company. This is Florida. Safe Bay Roofing, a division of Brands Design Build. And this lady is a CPA, so whenever the contract was presented in the notice of commencement, oh, the yeah. license number didn't match Safe Bay, the name, so she was spooked. And then she asked them about insurance. It's a simple question, like, what about the people on the roof? Are they covered? The salesman or the owner or whoever said, well, they'd be covered under your insurance. And maybe that's how it is in Georgia or Texas, but here in Florida, you gotta have workman's comp. You gotta have blanket coverage. She felt a lot more comfortable with our RCA, hundreds of reviews, tons of jobs in the neighborhood. And of course, we're running a door-to-door -door blitz. And I wanted to teach y'all how to put a job on roller skates. And that's what you call safe bay slate all day. Okay? Bye, bitch. All right, guys. Doesn't matter if you're 25 years, from another trade or 21 years old starting a new trade you can learn right here in the streets and this is where the american dreams at we're having a great time this young man here he's on a tear and i feel bad for you if we took your job on youtube man comment below if you enjoyed seeing that we'll keep it going appreciate you brother yes sir appreciate you